On this episode of Wild Hunt, I'm once again bow hunting one of New Zealand's rarer game species, wild sheep. These steep hills combine three different habitats, thick bush, tussock tops and river flats. If I'm to be successful, I need to stay vigilant and assess every piece of new country I open up. It was approximately a K down that way where I um, fortunately shot that ram and did not recover it. So I've come back, it's been about two weeks and I'm going to see if I can find it again. And while I'm here, I'm going to see if I can find any deer or anything like that. But main mission is find that ram. Because that was a really good ram. And I hate the idea of leaving something like that just rotting in the bush. It'll be too far gone now, but... You know... It's about finishing what you've started, I guess. The area I've come to is actually... Looks really... Really good, pretty much. Uh, excuse me, I can see something. <laughs> what is that? I think it's a rock. That happens a lot in hunting. It's a good looking area though. There's a nice scrubby gully here. And it's just, you can tell it's been grazed out. There's quite a lot of short green grass. I imagine it will be a good spot. I've seen deer here before, but I've never really given it the time it deserved, I don't think. So hopefully we'll see something. It's nearing about, it's one o'clock now, so in a couple of hours we should start to see animals. <laughs> Alright, I think this spot has outlived its usefulness, so I think I'm going to move just a few hundred yards further down this ridge and I'll be able to glass a whole lot more country, I think. One thing that's really important when you're hunting a country like this is actually just taking it slow, not busting up over ridges and stuff like that, spooking animals, because at the end of the day there's going to be animals everywhere in the most unexpected places. They're not just going to be in the gullies and stuff, they're going to be up high, they're going to be you know, up on top of the ridges and stuff, and if you just take your time, stay off of the skyline, and uh, really just be careful and take your time, you will be rewarded, I promise you. This is a sizable chunk of public land, with good animal numbers of all kinds. I've hunted it many times, but that doesn't mean I can't be surprised. I just found the very last thing that I thought I'd find up in these hills. I've just spotted a mob of tar. <laughs> They're quite a long way from home. Definitely. I really did not expect them out here. It's cool though. You never know what you're going to find, I guess. There's quite a good bull with them as well, actually.
To get close enough for a shot with my bow, I need to drop down the steep slope, up the other side, and then back down towards the two oldest bulls on the other side of the gully. They're in a good position and one of the bulls looks quite sizable and uh, as you know I've had my struggles in the past with bow hunting tar and this might be the, my one of, one of my best chances yet. Yeah it's going to be a bit of a gut buster to get down there back up and into a position where I can potentially make a stalk but uh, I think it'll be worth it, I think it'll be worth it for sure. I think we better get started though. It's uh, 3.20 right now, so... I mean, we have a lot of time actually, but we can maybe get another stock in after this. So I think we'll go. Change of plans. There's a deer below us. Fucking lucky it did not spot us. It's maybe only 200 or 300 meters. But it should be a good chance to get a stalk in, I think. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I'll get some footage of it. The wind is not my buddy today. The wind just swirled. It wasn't a bad stalk, the wind just swirled. <sighs> and I spooked those tower as well. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I really thought that was gonna be. I thought that was gonna work. below me but uh, I'm not really sure where they are and quite frankly I'm not really looking for any sheep right now I think I might just glass for the rest of the evening find a good campsite and uh, tomorrow morning 
I'm gonna go look for that ram. I really hope I'll find it. I'll be totally gutted if I don't. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yes. Headlock. Kim, if we had a jujitsu fight, you know I'd win, right? <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> you know, I've been here quite a lot. And it's funny how sometimes, as much as you like areas, they, they get a bit, I wouldn't say stale. It's almost like this place for me and Kim has kind of served its purpose and it's time to move on to different areas. This is probably the fifth or sixth time I've been here and I love coming here. Um, but once you learn an area, the challenge is kind of disappears and you're ready for the next yeah there's plenty of other places in New Zealand to check out plenty of other places in the world as well and you don't have all the time Alright, I think that's enough waxing philosophical stuff. Shall we go see if we can find the sheep? I think we will. Right, Kim? She's not listening, but we'll go anyway. These sheep are tempting, but just too small and too young. Suddenly, a couple better looking ewes are coming straight towards me. It's an opportunity I can't pass up. An easy but good shot. Man, that is uh, quite weird actually. I've shot a lot of um, shot a lot of sheep uh, in this area, but I've never actually shot one that displayed the old Spanish genetics like this. I kind of wish I'd left it to be honest, but uh, this thing is going to feed me for quite a while. And um, yes, I can. And to be honest, um, in a lot of ways, this population here is already ruined um, you barely see any ones like this anymore at all so really this is quite cool they're very small little little um, little sheep 
but they do taste really good. And uh, to shoot that with my bow is even better. I was I was a little bit worried for a sec. Um, on goats and sheep like this, often their stomach, especially when they've been feeding, really pushes their vitals very far forward. And when I picked up my arrow, it had a lot of gut material on it. So for a second, I thought I wasn't going to find this guy. A lot like that ram, but uh, it only went about 20 meters maybe. And uh, that was it. Kim's real into it, as you can see. <laughs> uh, man, that was cool. I was selective. I didn't shoot a few sheep. and uh, But then an opportunity like that just comes up to you. And you have to take it. A beautiful little animal. It really is. Really cool looking. I feel as if I've completed something. Did I ever find the ram I shot a few weeks ago? No. But I was successful in a material sense. I have meat, and at the end of the day, that's all hunting needs to be. Fun in the outdoors, admiring the way life ticks on, setting a tent by a river, and camping. A job well done, and time to think. Shout into a man to stop another war. Cause the real struggle is inside of them oh, oh, oh. Running through the fields, driving down the road Looking for some answers cause they feel they are lost What they found on me is clearer than before Can't wait.